What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We shall be continuing with our vulnerable machine series and in this video we're going to be configuring and installing SSH and FTP. It's pretty fun to do um, if you type properly and you don't mess things up. So let us get straight into it. The first thing I think we should do, which is probably the easiest, is installing FTP, I think. So like I said, I'll be copying and pasting this text because I hate typing. I'm just probably really bad at typing, right? Put that plus there. Installing and configuring FTP. FTP. I hope you can see this. Is it big enough? Oh, that's too big. There we go. Okay. Installing and configuring FTP. So I think the package is called VSFTPD. So like I said, first we run the command sudo apt install dash y VSFTPD. That should be it. And yes, it is correct. Um, apt install dash y VSFTPD. All right, so now we have FTP installed. After it is installed, we need to allow traffic. Uh, it's usually port 21 and port 20. So we'll just do port 20 and 21. Um, you use UFW to do this, sudo UFW allow 21. I think that's the command. There we go, that worked. Up, allow 20. That should allow network traffic to port 21, which is FTP. I'm not too sure actually what UFW does. Um, we could probably man that and see what it does. UFW. This program is for managing a Linux firewall and aims to provide an easy way to interface for the user. Okay, so it's literally just allowing traffic, you know, firewall stuff, right? Perfect. Um, sudo UFW allow 20, sudo UFW allow 21. Okay, so. FTP does not have a root folder, right? When you make it or when you install it. So we need to do that. We shall go into var dub 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 ls. There's nothing in here. No, we don't actually want it to be in dub dub dub. We need to make a directory FTP, right? Uh, so every command we run, we should put in the installation script. So mkdir var ftp, right? So we have ftp. We should change the permission to so that no one owns it and no group owns it as well. sudo ch own nobody and no group if we can type ftp. All right, that worked. Copy and paste it in there. If we lsla, as you can see, no one owns this folder FTP. So if we jump into FTP, there's gonna be nothing. We can make um, a, a note. We can make a note so that we, we use it for testing, right? Touch. We can just echo, probably echo. This is a testing file. Echo that to l.txt. That did not work. We probably need to run this as the sudo user. That did not work either. So we can echo, probably touch l.txt. Oh my goodness. Why is this not working? Perfect. Nano dot text this is a testing file so we shall try connect to this FTP and download it and see if it actually works I did not run that as the sudo user so it's not gonna work okay let's try that again um, let me know if you like watching videos like this whereby I show you all my errors and just the brain farts I usually have when I'm doing things. 
Um, I usually watch John Hammond's videos like this because they're very enjoyable. I get to see his process. And so let me know if you actually like this type of video or you just want me to edit that out. All right, so this is a testing file. Save that. Cat L.txt, it is there. We need to change the owner um, to nobody. No group L.txt. Need to run this as the pseudo user. Perfect. We're not gonna put this in our installation script for now because we're still just testing whether it's gonna be there or not. But when we actually do put something in there, which is gonna be the binary, we are supposed to change the permissions. So we'll do that later. But we are not done configuring FTP. It is installed. We have something in our FTP root folder, but now we need to change the configuration file. Right, we need to mess with that. So if we look for the installation file, there it is. That's the configuration file, right? But we don't wanna mess with that for now. Not yet at least. So we should copy this and make a backup vs ftpd and we'll call this dot back. Now that we have that, we can sudo nano etc vs ftpd right so make a copy was it dot config or dot conf it's probably dot conf not dot config there we go so if we take a look at here there are some things that we should allow, right? It says, I can't use my mouse, I guess. Allow anonymous FTP. We want to change this to yes. We need to add an entry for our root folder to point it to the root folder that we just made. And we need to allow, what else? That is probably just it, anonymous and the root folder. And the prompt for a password, where is it? It prompts a user for a password. Okay, we'll find it. We'll find it somewhere. But um, to do this, we're gonna have to use said, right? Either you can copy and paste all of this into your configuration file. Either you can copy and paste all of this, make a configuration file, put it in data, and when the machine boots up, you can copy that configuration file, put it on the machine and replace this thing. Or we can use said to replace the few entries that we want. I'm not too sure which one makes the most sense. So like I said, I'm not too sure which one makes the most sense. You could probably use your own, you know, judgment, but I'm going to be using said. So the command would be said dash I I'm looking at my screen right now because I don't know it off the top of my head. What are we looking for? We want to change one thing over here. Go back to the top. We want to change anonymous enable, right? So sad dash I anonymous enable. It's actually S and then that. I don't want to mistype this. Copy, paste, so that's what we're looking for. And then so that's what we're looking for. So we want to change it to yes. I think that's how you do this. Pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, there's no auto complete. VSF TPD dot conf. Let's see if this actually works. All right. Close that. Run that as the pseudo user. And that did not work. I made a mistake somewhere. We're supposed to close this. Put a forward slash there. 
let's try that. And it looks like it worked. So if we now open back the folder, I mean the file, as you can see, it changed to yes, right? Over here, it changed to yes. So I think that's pretty much what we need to do in terms of allowing anonymous. And then we can add the entry for the root folder using echo, right? So come down here, echo var echo anon root. That's the entry. It's not already, it's not in there. We, we just have to add it, right? Anon root equals all var FTP. That's the folder. We want to add it to Etsy. Oh my goodness. We want to add it to Etsy VSFT pd.conf. Save that. Copy and paste this and see if it works. We need to run it as the pseudo user. Still denied. Echo. Echo is funny, to be honest. Is it dash n maybe? What does dash n even do? Okay, I think I might have mistyped something. Let's see, vsftpd.com. That should work though. Hmm. That is weird. But um, I guess we could just open it and add it. But it usually works if you put it in an installation script. I'm pretty sure it works. Anon root equals var FTP. There you go. Save that. We can't save it because I did not run it as the sudo user. Sudo. Anon root equals var FTP. Should that be in quotes? No, it does not need to be in quotes. I actually think I know why it didn't work though. Let's see, don't save. Single quotes might work. Oh, no, they didn't work. Anyways, let's just add it. Anon root equals var FTP. Right. Close out of that. Looks like we have most of what we need for FTP. And now we just need to restart FTP. System CTL restart PS FTPD. Copy this, paste that, looks like it works. So if we sudo systemctl status v as ftpd, it is running. If we go to this local machine right here, maybe open up a new terminal. If we try ftp into this machine, copy the IP address. It should work. The user is anonymous. The password is anonymous. Login successful. LS, we have our L.txt, right? If we get L.txt, nope, that's not how you spell it. Uh, transfer complete, that worked. Bye, okay. And now if we typed all dot text, this is a testing file that worked. So FTP has been configured and installed. 
in the next video we shall continue by configuring and installing SSH. I will catch you in that video.